Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bidangagham! We may eat a lot, but the food taken in our body cannot be used directly by the body cells. Nutrients in food cannot be distributed to all body cells unless changed from the large molecules into simpler molecules of amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol, and simple sugars. Sa ating Shensh Amazing episode ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang mechanical phase ng digestion. In man, the digestive process involves a mechanical and a chemical phase. Mechanical digestion is simpler compared to the chemical phase of digestion. In this process, we can see the change in the physical properties of food. It includes a few steps. It starts with a process called mastication. It is where food is cut and chewed into smaller pieces with the use of our teeth. We have four kinds of teeth. The incisors, canine, premolars, and molars. If you have watched the video about the general structures and functions of the parts present in our digestive system, you may be familiar, or if you are familiar with the salivary glands, you should know about the saliva. It is produced from three pairs of salivary glands, which moistens the food. The third step in mechanical digestion is when the tongue mixes the food with saliva. The back of the tongue secretes mucus which makes the food easier to swallow. The act of swallowing is called deglutition. Aside from those simple steps, we also have a mechanical process that occurs throughout the food tube. This is known as peristalsis. It is a wave-like contraction of the muscular food tube that mixes food with the enzymes and digestive juices in the stomach and small intestines and help push the food mass down the digestive tube. Let's have another trivia! Naranasan nyo na bang sumuka? Naitunong nyo na ba kung bakit tayo sumusuka? Vomiting may seem like a weird and unwanted experience but actually, it is one of the best defenses of our body. Vomiting is the body's way of protecting us from threats. When our body detects a harmful substance or something irritating, our body actually thinks that we are being poisoned. So its natural reaction is to get rid of that threat in our body, causing it to expel the contents of the stomach. Paano ito nangyayari? The body reacts immediately by causing a reverse movement of the esophagus or antiperistalsis which results in vomiting. If peristalsis pushes food down the digestive tube, antiperistalsis does the other way around causing us to expel food out of the body. That's the end of our discussion about the mechanical phase in digestion. As I've said earlier, it is way simpler compared to the chemical phase of digestion. We shortly discussed about the processes of mechanical digestion, and then we were introduced to the new terms 
mastication, and deglutition. And also, we encountered once again the process of peristalsis. And lastly, we learned more about our body's defense, which is vomiting. In order to complete your learning about digestion, tune in to our video explaining the chemical processes that occur when we undergo the process of digestion. That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!